request uh, for a right of reply. As I understand, the representative of the Russian Federation has requested to exercise his right of reply. I just want to remind members of the committee that based on resolution 34-401 of the General Assembly, statements uh, in exercise of the right of reply are limited to 10 minutes for the first intervention and 5 minutes for the second intervention. Now I call on the distinguished representative of the Russian Federation. You have the floor. Thank you, uh, Chairman. First of all, I want to uh, point out to the representative of the Ukraine that Russia uh, shares the victory over fascism with all countries whose governments uh, know how to uh, honor the memory of uh, those who, who died. And uh, so the destruction of monuments uh, and, and uh, uh, the marches... Uh, by nationalists and uh, uh, glorifying uh, nationalists such as Bandera and others. This is what is uh, being imposed and supported by the Ukrainian authorities. This is how, for many years, they honor the victory over fascism. Furthermore, uh, in the beginning of November of 2019, there were hearings in the Verkhovna Rada, on the security of uh, the um, of media workers and it was stated that since 1993 until 2019 some 60 journalists were killed in 2019 there were over 200 uh, illegal acts against journalists including threats uh, insults Ill illegal obstacles to carrying out their work the use of force uh, damaging equipment, uh, there's 92% of such crimes remain, remain uh, unsolved or, or unpunished. Only one out of 12 cases uh, makes its way to the courts. Punishment uh, of perpetrators is usually limited to symbolic fines. Also, it was stated that journalists are afraid to publish uh, sensitive materials that uh, could uh, be... Uh, that could lead to uh, re uh, reprisals. We recommend to the representative of Ukraine to carefully examine uh, the statistics on the freedom of the media in his own country before accusing others. Also, I'd like to uh, draw the attention of the representative of Ukraine and certain other Western delegations to the fact that accusations that Russia is using disinformation in order to to justify the special military operation has nothing to do with reality. All the statements of official government bodies, including the Ministry of Defense, are, 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 are published in a timely way and contain only verified information. The language of fakes and disinformation is actually used by Western media. Most of the fakes uh, are uh, discovered within hours, but remain in the media space for a long time and uh, uh, mislead a huge number of users. Now, on, in Ukraine, there are a lot of fakes that are being created as well. In addition to uh, overt lies, there are distortions and criminal hushing up of information about humanitarian corridors established by Russia. Uh, ordinary people who are evacuated from there uh, 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 report on this. Now, to shed light on what is happening, that is precisely to, to, uh, uh, to find out what the nationalists are doing to the civilian population, Russia has, is conducting an ARIA formula meeting on the 6th of May on this topic. And during that topic, we will uh, give an opportunity to independent journalists to uh, take the floor to present their materials, and we invite everyone to take part in that meeting. Thank you. I thank the representative.